How do we measure the length of the cable? Well, we use our knowledge of the equipment. Where the cables are leaving a larger device, such as a transformer, we firstly work out the cable length above the gland, which will be the exposed wires. Typically, we normally estimate about 2 meters from this length. We then take the vertical and horizontal measurements to get from the gland plate to the cable trench. We then use the scale on our layout drawing to work out the root length from the trench all the way back to the substation building. Again, when we get to the control panel, we can do a reasonably accurate estimate to the bottom of the gland plate. And above the gland plate, we just assume the height of the panel for the wires to be terminated. We then repeat this process for all of the cables on the cable schedule. If we do this first on an Excel spreadsheet, we can then work out the total length for all of the cables of each type. And this will allow us to place the controlled cable order with the manufacturer.